Hi everybody, I'm Dana Durmford, also known as the nuclearproctologist.org and you can find my videos and Fukushima presentations live at livestream.com seven days a week at this stage. And that didn't pop up, uh, Dana. So live stream seven days a week, 10.30 a.m. Pacific Canada time. And I had to put that song together in the last couple of minutes because the one I had, I accidentally erased it. So, I don't even know if I got the right one there. We'll get through that first. <laughs> It takes five minutes to warm up, folks. Yowza, 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 Dana. Should have warned everybody for that one. Takes us a few minutes to warm up. If you haven't got patience, I'm sorry. But you got to imagine how hard it is to do what I'm doing and to get it right during a live stream is 10 times harder again. Uh, many times besides that. I, again, and so... Sounds like I got a little echo. That's okay. I don't see anybody complaining in the comment section. I'm here, here. Hi, James. Uh, Lori. Hugs, Lori. Divine. Rights. Sean again. Hi, Elaine. How are you? Rattle Shark. It's better than YouTube. Hi, Rady. I see ice cream for you, too. Release downs. Hi, Mickey. Okay, Zoe, somewhere else. Careful. Hi, Alex. And Alex is making music for us, for the documentaries, on top of that. And he's got a lot of talent, folks. We're looking forward to what he can provide us. And just making sure I say hi. Hi, David. I'm not going to try to pronounce your last name. Because I haven't got my glasses on, so I'll just butcher that one. Hi, Terry Ann, Lori, Mickey, Bob, and Rattle Shark, everybody. Did I miss people? I'm sure. Okay. I think I got a really good show for everybody today. We're almost ready to go. We're a couple of minutes into it. We're like a minute shy of how long it normally takes us. <coughs> Hi, Zoe. Okay. I got a tendency to, to, it's hard to do a live stream if anybody's not familiar when you're by yourself and you got to get the kinks out of everything. You got to make everything work smoothly or perfectly. Blah, nothing is perfect anymore. As sea urchins, sea stars die. What do you mean by that is an extinction event? Sea urchins are the next, um, Victims, I think it's how you put it. I got yeah, it snuck up on me this morning. I never even had a 30 second warning because I was trying to create another little song when I should be paying attention to other things. But anybody's not familiar with Japan's melted reactors, we got a real event going on here. This is real, this is not a game anymore. And that I might have to fix this. I uh, better fix that now before I do anything else. Because that'll wreck our day if we don't get it right. As sea stars die, no worries about the urchins. Some urchins waste away, others come out of hiding as the folly from sea star. Get that one? Folly? From sea star disease ripples along the coastline. Okay. Well, we went throughout the coastline uh, for 260 days. 
and this is the boat that we used. So 260 days on the coastline, we went to the boat, we surveyed the tidal zones, the most vulnerable of the ocean, the very nursery of the ocean itself. And what we discovered was that it was naked. And that was symmetrical throughout the entire coastline. And how is the audio? Hi, Kate. Anybody? How's the audio? Yeah, leave Dot's name off my site, please, everybody. I'm starting to get a little upset with this. If I wanted to talk about him, I'll talk about him. Right? If I wanted to give him attention, I gave him attention a long time ago. But he's going to be arrested soon. Now he's followed us over here to live stream. He's subscribed to every one of my subscribers. So go f put a complaint in. But I don't want to give him any stage on my site. we just done that by everybody commenting constantly in my comment section. All right? And that's how he wins. That's how we lose. And the taco keeps doing it to me at my site. And he knows better. And that this kind of stuff, like, you got to realize what's happening here, what they're doing to me, and that these people are doing that with ghost counts on top of that. They're uh, desperate to smear me instead of talking about the expedition. Right? Why talk about the expedition? Why talk about that, what we done? Why talk about the fact that we show... But it's okay if the Smithsonian comes out and says, hey, you know, urchins will be the next. No, they declared that a mass mortality, urchins die after being observed and documented at four sites. But we went to 200, um, we went to the entire coastline, 15,000 miles, 260 days, up close and personal. Five months at a time without coming coming home. And in the PR firm, people are giving them credits and credence in my comment section. That's a PR firm. That's what Dots is. That's a PR firm that's going to get his ass arrested real soon. And see, that wasn't supposed to get said today. I'm just saying to everybody out there that's doing this to me, you got to stop doing that to me. I know it's frustrating. Do you think I don't know? Do you think I don't get it? Do you think I'm not someone that's got hundreds of videos made about me? To victimize me. To, to smear me. To ridicule me. To try to humiliate me. To defund me, which is what they done. But yet I'm back here every day struggling. Like you can't even imagine. Because of these types of people. But you got to put them in my comment section, everyone. For Christ's sake, stop doing that to me. You're crucifying me. And by proxy, it, that's what they're doing to you and me. You know? The fact that we're even talking about this now. Right? They won again. Tell the police picked some up. Now i got to have a cigarette. Now i got to have a cigarette. Because nothing I do is matter. It only matters what somebody else says about me. Nothing I accomplish matters. It only matters what somebody else has said about me. The fact that the Pacific is dead doesn't matter. It only matters what somebody else says about me. What kind of world is this? What kind of fable is this? What kind of existence is this? What kind of fucking brain farts are people having that they think that's important? That they don't think that the death of the Pacific Ocean is not front and center? It's not going to impact every aspect of everybody's life. Don't even want to do a video now. Big baby, Dina, big silky. On the flip side, <coughs> people like that are allowed to run free. The end of forecast of the radioactive fallout. There's 27,000 children dying a day every day. You can do something freaking better than that. Who knows how much I just screwed that up? Hang on. 
Sometimes I don't know who the hell I am. Hang on, folks. Maybe that'll help for a while until I click something that's not the same size, like that. <laughs> I mean, how do you do all this yourself, anyway, without having oodles and oodles of opportunity, you know? Let's get that over here. Let's try it again. Big polluters, one massive container ship equals 50 million cars. Ignore me. Pay no attention to me. I'm just vilified and demonized and been attacked that'll last forever right throughout the entire country. I've been defunded and then ostracized. I can't even get a lawyer. No one wants the case. For what? I got the Globe and Mail, the CBC, the Japanese Time, and all their affiliates and all their aggregators and all their useful idiots and then the entire nuclear industry pummeling me. All day, every day. The police in Victoria, Constable Steve Crooks, harassing me by sending the police to my door claiming I'm suicidal. And I am the furthest thing imaginable from suicidal. The furthest thing on the planet from being suicidal. Period. <laughs> it's laughable. But it's meant to harass me, intimidate me, and try to catch me with my guard down, maybe. To humiliate me by, with my neighbors by constantly having the police come into my door. To try to make me feel like I got nowhere to go or no one to turn to and to defund me so I got no support on any myself in every sense of the word that I can count on. Because I don't know what they got done to me. I know that they used the FBI and Woods Hole and University of Victoria. This is not what I wanted to do this morning, but they used all these institutions and people like Dots to constantly attack me Find something that I said that they think they could use, but they can't. If it's not legitimate they've been able to use, I would have addressed it. If I made a mistake, I stopped doing it and I correct it and tell everybody, don't do that, don't say that. But you don't hear me doing that because I don't make those mistakes. And if I do, we will, you know, we'll, we'll change that part of the endless narrative to teach people or make them stronger, make me stronger, make me better. I'm upset. Very six bucks yesterday. That ain't gonna get us to four thousand nine hundred and ninety-five dollar. So that's seven hundred and fifty-six dollars and sixty-five cents. Thank you, by the way. We gotta get that Skype machine so we can do interviews. That's gotta get done, right? Just like the whole trip on the coastline had to get done. We done that. We got the documentation. We got slowed down for a couple of weeks. We're back up to speed, kinda. Let's keep going. Big polluters. One massive container ship equals 50 million cars. That's more cars than Canada, Australia, New Zealand combined. That's the war machine, right? Media's not gonna tell you, pump that out today during the COP21, right? During the climate talks in Paris, no. They're not going to say, hey, by the way, big polluters, one massive container ship equals 50 million cars. And that the health risks of shipping pollutions have been underestimated. And that 16 of those produces more pollutions than all the automobiles currently on the planet. That there's 90,000 of them. That's the animosity equivalent of 42 trillion people driving automobiles every day on this planet. But I breathe air. I drink the water. It, it, it didn't per se. They're still fighting over whether there's actually damage. I'm sure there is. There has to be. They're burning bunker fuel is why they produce so much pollution. Bunker fuel is not fuel. It's the material left over from petroleum productions of plastic this and plastic that. It's supposed to be on a toxic site till the end of time. But the cocksuckers, excuse me, the, the, the mass murderers out there, the freaks of nature, you won't see that at climate COP21. Right. No, why mention that? And that there's over 90,000 of these currently on the ocean burning that kind of... Shipping boom fuels rising tide of global CO2 emissions. They don't bother mentioning that. Because that won't let them, right? Think about that thing you're looking at there. All that shoots is depleted uranium munitions. Dirty bombs. Dirty fucking bombs. Prince Harry. That's all he shoots in the back of his helicopter. 
He doesn't fly it. He shoots the weapons. He shoots. That's all that shoots is dirty bombs. They're down in Afghanistan shooting dirty bombs around. And then going into the village, get his picture taken with the kids. Before just before it contaminates their entire water and food supply. Because he ain't going back. He knows what he's done. He knows what he's doing. When they look in the mirror, they don't see that. They look in the mirror, they see themselves as princes. They don't see Prince Harry doesn't look in the mirror and see that. Prince Harry is not like me or you. He doesn't he doesn't see the world the way we do. It's kind of a pick up from yesterday's story. We're just gonna pick off. We left off right there. One one you know, one mouthpiece says, just just fuck all of them. There's many of us. There's jack shit of them. They wear a suit and tie to get in the media. It's just that person. Nobody else believes a fucking word they're saying. Only the gullible, useless idiots, useful idiots that reads it. And then the PR firms themselves. Anybody comments pro-nuclear is a PR firm. Nobody's stupid enough to even care in a normal world. But pro-nuclear is you're puking it up. Oh, it's like a banana. It's like it's the best thing. It's carbon-free. Carbon-free just kill the Pacific fucking ocean. Permanently. By the way, I'm not yelling at someone in the comment section. I'm just yelling at the fact that I even got to bring it up. That I, every time that's said in my comment section or anything is said in my comment section about these people, without the context, the proper context. That's why I make the videos the way I make them. My cigarettes don't got 7,000 chemicals in it. So put your attitude back in your fucking pocket and shut up. Listen to what I got to say. Or go away. Get lost. Fuck off somewhere. If you don't like what I got to say. Anybody out there. Radioactive iodine levels in rainwater exceed the maximum. Mainstream media and everybody else out there. New York Times contributor from California at rainwater 181 times. That's game over. That's the fucking end of it right there. You should have evacuated that second. Not bought fucking bottled water and stayed there. You should get the fuck out of Dodge. California iodine, probably double or triple what they reported on top of that. Not to mention that it's constantly hemorrhaging out of that place. Big fucking genie. Like the genie in the bottle. It's out, right? And now it's a punk, a steampunk. A, a, you know, that's what I mean by that, steampunk, right? You get it? Probably not. Human embryos in U.S. likely bioaccumulating. Everything. Not just fucking iodine. Cesium. What about the curium? What about the curium? There's more curium in their spent fuel rods after they went through a chain reaction than there is iodine and cesium combined. It's just no use for it outside of killing. Dr. Raymond Gilmetti from Loveless Respiratory Research Institute shows us how that works. Let's see if we can go through that one more time. Oh, Gilmetti, let's try something simple. Let me fix that before we go any further. Because now I got and I got a handle on it. And so these are big friggin' headlines. I gotta make them a bit smaller so you can find them. Okay, I'm gonna have to change that again in a second. Dr. Raymond Gilmetti from Loveless Respiratory Research Institute, New Mexico. I say New Mexico. You can say whatever you want. I got to break the ice sometimes myself. Gilmetti! Blah, blah, blah. Gilmetti likes dogs. He likes them so much he kills them for 35 years with tiny amounts of curium isotopes. They're a major byproduct in irradiated nuclear reactor fuel the rods and comprise a significant fraction of alpha emitting a significant fraction a significant although little use is currently being made of purified purified curium each use is possible if reprocessing the spent fuel becomes feasible processing reprocessing the spent fuel 
becomes feasible. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So what is he really talking about when he said those words? Stick with me. Bear with me for just a, um, another minute. So reprocessing, sorry, that's not the picture I want. There you go. That's the one I want it. Yeah? That's reprocessing the spent fuel rods. That's two million times worse than any other reactor on the planet. Let me repeat that. Say that out loud to yourself two million times worse. That's two million times worse than any other reactor on the planet, or all reactors. That divide 440 reactors into two million, then you have how many times is worse than all the reactors on the planet? You get it yet? That's why the Pacific Ocean is dead. Not just because there's... Let me run through for you. Fukushima, 9.0 earthquake lasted six minutes. Originally. Six minutes. If something shook you, whatever house you're in right now would probably fall apart because it's not built for something like that. But how about a tsunami ran through your country? How about a tsunami ran through your country? Then it detonated. Tsunami comes through, detonates. All the plants melt down and just a spot to tell you about. You have meltdowns. Chernobyl Chernobyl was one third the size. Chernobyl was a 30% meltdown. Chernobyl stopped after 10 days. Chernobyl, they abandoned it. In Japan, you get a free home if you're pregnant in, in the abandoned zones. Chir uh, Fukushima never stopped. Fukushima got four. Chernobyl was one third the size. Chernobyl contaminated the EU. You still can't, can't sell the land, drink the milk in UK, Ireland, Scotland. still can't sell the land or drink the milk. Think about that one. Chernobyl was only one third the size of any of the reactors. They just opened a fishery in Sweden two years ago. It's been closed since Chernobyl. They should have kept it closed. Because Fukushima is much worse than Chernobyl. Chernobyl is a candlestick. They're, like they're out there right now lying to you saying that Everything is fine and that is normal. It's perfectly normal to see the collapse of the phytoplankton, the krill, the anchovies, the sardines, the squid, the herring, the salmon, and everything else. The whales dying, emaciated, washing up on beaches is normal. All the dolphins and seals and sea lions and walruses and everything that mass die offs, mass mortality is never seen before, normal. Just don't talk about it. <coughs> so I haven't smoked that fucking cigarette, have I? Well, up to 7,000 chemicals in it. Everybody demonized me. I didn't smoke a cigarette, I can't fucking listen to him. You smoked a cigarette, I seen him with it in his fucking hand. Hang on. We're almost there. Let's get rolling here. Talk about Chernobyl for a quick second. Don't remind us. They say no clear answers why so many kids born are sick outside the exclusion zone. Fukushima was only 7% as bad as Chernobyl. Chernobyl being one third the size. Chernobyl, 30% meltdown. Chernobyl stopped after 10 days. Fukushima didn't stop. So, It's so fucking complicated just trying to have a conversation about this subject. It becomes almost impossible. Think about what I'm going to show you here. <laughs> All right. Hell on earth. Look at the third sentence from the top. For the next 10 days after Chernobyl, it stopped after 10 days, but it was equal to 400 Hiroshima bombs. That's what he called it, hell on earth. Right? Okay. Maybe I'll get started here. But anyway, Chernobyl was terrible. Chernobyl was frightening. But Fukushima is much more frightening. Look at the artificial radionuclides in the Canadian drinking water now. Are you getting it yet? Because it's common. 
Okay. Let's get going. Back to here. Here we go. Just cover that one. Fukushima is hemorrhaging directly into that ocean. A uh, former DO official criticizes, this was 2011, next month, a UC Berkeley professor for comparing ingesting radioactive iodines to air travel. So when you get on a plane, you didn't ingest a radioactive particle. When you get off the plane, right, you're no more... Like when you go higher in, in elevation, there's solar energy, it's, but it's not nuclear energy. It hasn't got an extra electron attached to it. It's the natural isotopes, the natural radiations per se, of the elements of our periodic table in our solar system. When you get up in a plane, well, they used to be. And so, to, but to compare ingesting a radioactive element from a terrorist attack, think about that one. To an airplane travel, how outrageous would that be? How about if they compared that you got sick from a terrorist attack from radioactive releases and your child died and everything else, and they said you were fear mongering? Or they said your child died because uh, your radiophobia? Or how about you had a terrorist? You know what I mean? But think about Fukushima, what that really means. Think about If you could see radiation, you can't see it or smell it or taste it or touch it or hear it or feel it or pick it up or throw a rock at it. But think about if you could see it. That's what everything would look like. That's what your entire Pacific Ocean would look like. French government, 15 main incidences of radioactivity leaks of Fukushima. Uh, only 108 million billion Beckles of iodine 131, but there's 10 times more 132. That ionizes and radiates your thyroid glands nine times more effectively. There's 30 times more 133 iodine created in ratio of iodine 131, but there's 31 times more iodine 129 with a 15 million year half life. But that's nothing. Put all that together, and that's still not how much curium is coming out of there. Curium is like plutonium. I'll come back to those studies later. Let's keep going. It's a very serious conversation. That's why I'm here all the time, because i got no choice. Even if they manage to drive everybody away from me, or I manage to drive everybody away from me with the blowback from what they're doing to me. A Highway of Death, 1991, outside of Kuwait. And they just plowed it in. They could. They, there's no way they can have funerals for these people. They were smashed with depleted uranium munitions. Around 300,000 of them. It was a turkey shoot. Fukushima forecast shows a 137 iodine 131. Now there's 100 times more strontium 90, but there's all the other strontium 90 daughters and cesium daughters, but there's also all the other 2,000 radioactive elements. And you need 2,000 Geiger counters calibrated to 2,000 radioactive isotopes to find that. So that's why most of the animals look like on our coastline. That's what all the mammals look like on our coastline. In British Columbia, Canada. I'm in a cranky friggin' mood today all of a sudden. Vancouver paper. Health Canada detected massive amount of radioactive material from Fukushima. Iodine-131 spiked above maximum allowable limits of four or five sites. But Woods Hole and UVic, University of Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, told us none here. It just showed up uh, last week. But that's eight, August 2011. But I'm the bad person. I'm the demon. I'm the devil. How dare I say there's an issue? How dare I go out and show... In 200,000 pictures, there's no life left, and that the 4 million other species didn't recede the coastline. How dare I? What you see in there is just... That's the end of their case. They got no case now. Look at that. That's 50 bases around Iran. 
American bases carrying out air, land, sea embargoes, electronic warfare, stealing money electronically from the children's phones, wrecking the country. That's what Americans are spending $61, 61 cents on every tax dollar on the war machine. All of them are nuclear armed. All of them are using directed energy weapons. All of them are using sophisticated technology without declaration of a war. That's what they've done to me. They surrounded me and then they demonized me throughout the media and then they attacked me relentlessly without physically putting their fingers on me. Well, they did. They arrested me. Vancouver, Canada, radiation test showed iodine 131 drinking water at 100 times above U.S. drinking water standards. So before cancer shows up, there's 1,800 autoimmune deficiencies. Hi, Zoe. You okay, buddy? Yeah. 1,800 autoimmune deficiencies, but I'm the bad person. Because cancer doesn't show up right away, Dana. But attack Dana. Ignore everything I say. Attack Dana. Find a little niche in the video. Ignore the rest of the video. Don't say, hey, Dana, you made a little mistake here, I think. Have a look at that. No, no. Come out and just vilify me. Demonize me. Works. Works really good. And put three strikes, four strikes on my account when I cut it out of jail so I can't live stream anymore on YouTube. And then I find out the court documents that they use censorship laws with Woods Hole, Woods Hole U, University of Victoria, Constable Steve Crooks from Sandy's Police Department, RCMP in Canada, in Victoria, and the FBI to censor me and everybody else on YouTube, but me in particular. Without a warrant, he went through five hundred hours of my footage. But I'm the bad guy because he found two sentences that they forgot to say that I said change the law. And then media come out and said I'm accused of death threats when I'm charged with criminal harassment and nuclear pukes, a nuclear destructive pukes of mass murderers who told people to go ahead and eat the stuff that's radiated. But I'm the bad person. The Canadian flag looks no different than that. That's the Canadian flag in every sense of the word. But rain with 20 million particles of iodine. Think about this one. A hundred times in the rainwater above Canada. There's 10 times more iodine, 132. 30 times more, 133. 31 times more, 129 with a 15 million year half-life till the end of time. 150 million year life. But because it has an extra electron to it, it actually never decays. It's never normal. It never turns to lead. It never turns to radon without the ele extra electron. And so at the end of time, it's bad for everything on this planet. That's a perpetual machine. They only count to 10 half-lives in order to shut you up. Not to tell you the truth. But the reactors don't run on iodine. They run on plutonium and uranium. Twenty million particles. Who was that? Simon Fraser University, Vancouver area had levels of radioactivity, act ten to the power of seven. No, Dana never showed up here. You fucker. We'll drag you through the court system. You can't prove it showed up here, Dana. They're scientists from universities, Dana. You're not Dana. Your words mean nothing, Dana. You are scum, Dana. You are irrelevant, Dana. We will just demonize you because we can't get a check any other way. Because we can't make a living any other way. Because our loved ones will find out what we've done. Because we will have nowhere to hide, Dana. You're a bad person for telling people, Dana. You're scaring people, Dana, by telling them that. Well, everybody on this planet would want me to do what I done. And the ones that knew about it supported me till it was done. And then you fucked me over, wouldn't leave me alone. Now you made me 10 times better, a hundred times better, a million times more resolved, a thousands and thousands a time more energy, a determination you cannot stop. You have to kill me. 
That is how you stop me. You have to kill me. Because I'm not stopping. Even if everybody turns on me. Even if nobody will support me. I'm not stopping. I'm not going away. I'm coming out swinging every day. And what? You can kill me. Ultimately. What I've done is for the better. And I got no regrets. Certainly I don't regret calling a chicken neck a chicken neck. I don't regret calling a murderer a murderer. I don't regret calling a thug a thug. And I won't, I will never withdraw a comment I've made in the context is unless I made a mistake. I'm happy to withdraw a mistake. That's what makes me stronger. That's what makes you better. That's what makes us all. By March the 21st, five nuclear isotopes. So it wasn't just iodine, huh? It was iodine 131 got reported. Cesium 134, cesium 137. But the reactors don't run on it, they run on uranium, plutonium. You had a mass demonstration down in front of UVic or Woods Hall right now. Game over for them. They have a mass demonstration in front of the courthouse if they try to convict me. We destroyed her. We destroyed her careers and those people permanently. We already destroyed them permanently anyway. They just don't know it yet. We already beat them in every venue possible. They just don't. They don't. They know it. They just won't admit it yet. They've already lost the battle of hiding Fukushima because you can't hide the dead of the Pacific Ocean. But at some point, you are the people. You're the power, not me. You're what they're afraid of, not me. They're afraid you're going to come to your senses and make a stand. They can't deal with that. You're afraid, they're afraid you're going to speak out. They can't deal with that. They're afraid you're going to wake up. They can't deal with that. They're afraid, terribly afraid. And so anybody that shows up, they're going to attack them. I just know how to pull the old sweater over their head and give them the uppercut like we're playing hockey. Because it's legal to do that when you're playing hockey. <laughs> Canada Health caused 300 times background level of iodine-131. So they're murderers. The person who, wrote, who, who said those words, that's a murderer. We want that person in jail. There's no bottom line here. That's happening at some point. Even if you get rid of me, even if you kill me, that's still going to happen. That's the fact. People are going to lose their minds when you find out what you got done. You got nowhere to hide. And you tormented me so much. Now I made sure everybody knows who you are, didn't I? Now I made sure everybody knows who to go after down the road, don't I? Didn't I? When the herd is all running towards a cliff, people like me look like we're crazy. But soon that's not going to be the case. The herd is going to be running towards them. That's coming. That's happening already. The herd is running at them right now. They just don't have anywhere they can go so they're trying to stand their ground but they can't stand their ground any longer because they got a dead Pacific Ocean. Vancouver seaweed four times higher. That's April the 5th. How come Woods Hole is telling you it's only showing up now? Why don't you get in their faces? Why don't the people that are harassing me saying that they're honest people call them out now? Why don't you say, well, there you go, Dana boy. Thank you for showing us that. I'm going to direct all that hate. I got that joke. Low-level radioactive contaminated contamination found. So CBC is mass murder. Whoever, whoever penned that article, Michael, whatever the fuck his name is, you should vilify him. Because he's hiding that to, on you and your loved ones. Radioactive tritium and groundwater at Peach Bottom Nuclear Plant, not a health concern. See, the person who wrote that, you should call him up all day till they're fired. You should call them up all day and all night long until they can't sleep anymore. You should get the fuck in their face. Not not, not leave a comment. And call them the fuck up. Call up their editor. Call up their goddamn wife and say, who the fuck are you not to fact check what this stuff is? 
Why are you puking up whatever you're told? Is it because you're a corporate personhood cheerleading lap dog? Yeah. Because you're a murderer? Yeah. Korean nuke victims were denied state compensation? Because you admit one, you got to admit it all. This site may be hazardous to close mines. Yoink. Let's keep going. Nuclear plant safety focus a public meeting. They don't give a fuck what you say. They don't care what you say. Public meeting. Are you kidding me? Is that some kind of demented joke? That's what I'm talking about with those headlines. Linear no threshold model. The whole Mises theory. Homesis is where radiation is good for you. And so they come up with that theory because natural radiation exists everywhere. And so it's been proven that natural radiation is harmless and it it helps produce life in many aspects. Because that, that is what we're made of. And so you don't have to be a genius to write a paper on how natural stuff is good for you. You don't have to be some kind of nuclear scientist to work that one out. But you do, and if you want to try to flip it, the stuff that's coming out of the reactor got an extra electron to it. How is that stuff homesis? That stuff is what a terrorist is going to use for a dirty bomb. We'll show you some of that coming up, but... Now, what you're trying to say is that the natural radioactive fallout from Japan is good for you. And the NRC has took applications and submissions and is now going to make a decision in the near future upon raising the nonlinear threshold of 100 milligram, milligrams a year. And that's murder. That's murder. They have Dr. Raymond Gilman, and we'll go back to that in a little tiny bit, and I'll explain, because I might never find that again. Too risky to bury nuclear waste, but I thought it was like a banana. I thought it was like a potato chip. I thought it was like walking in sunshine. I thought it was like getting on an airplane. I thought it was like sleeping next to somebody. I thought it was like the natural stuff we see all around us. I thought it was fucking harmless. That's what you told me for 70 years. Do I got to pull a hockey sweater over your head and give you a couple of uppercuts because you lied to me for 70 years? Yes. Do I got to make a stand for every creature on this planet? Because we have an extinction event. And this creature over here, over there, she's got 17 trillion in stocks of uranium. She's the reason they used the salt water on those reactors. She's the reason they didn't do the right things in Japan. Not to mention this fact that her stepson, her grandson, flies a war helicopter in the back seat, shooting depleted uranium all over Afghanistan and Iraq. These are that's a war crime. People are fucking idiots. Let us build a Asian nuclear crisis center. Asianic nuclear. Why? I thought it was like a banana. I thought it was like a potato chip. I'm not saying clowns are bad. I'm just saying that's a clip from a movie. It should invoke some kind of emotion into you because I know fucking well that doesn't. Or that won't. Aging nuclear power plants must be closed before it closes us. New savings erode as cost nuclear plants grow. They, got, they don't even know what to do with the fuel after. They've said, well, they got to spend billions so the terrorists don't get it. But if it leaks into your community, it's like a fucking banana. You get more natural radiation getting on an airplane. These are people you need to fucking throttle. Over the phone line. Call up their editors and scream at them all day, every day, till they don't show up again. That's a thug. That's down there right now in Paris, climbing talks, trying to get the whole planet to agree that nuclear is carbon free. Nuclear, carbon free nuclear just killed the Pacific Ocean. My part about that is you can't wrap your mind around. So because I've done such a shitty video today, I might as well go up to the police station and get take my anger out on somebody, I suppose. Before this ends up taking it out on everybody else. Egypt faces 200 billion losses due to nuclear project delay. 
200 billion. 200 billion for delaying. No, oh, nuclear is carbon free. <laughs> nuclear is the cheapest thing out there. Come here, grabs you by the nuts in the back of the head and drops you down on your face. France is going to lose, uh, that's just taxpayers' money. Who gives a fuck? Contracts, transport sector, if not uh, changing their nuclear stance. Right, the fear mongering. The fear mongering. Shut up, slave. Shut up. Shut up, slave. I'm not going to arrest him. I'll arrest you. Why would I arrest him? Their corporate personhood. I can't arrest them, you stupid bitch. They're protected under the slavery law. An illegal amendment, bitch. You know, Doc, the Chief Supreme Court Justice of the United States in 1939 wrote an eloquent dissent of how absurd it was that an amendment meant to free slaves from an oppressive government that gave slaves human rights. That amendment to the Constitution to the Bills of Rights, to the Magna Carters, has been manipulated in increments over decades by corporate lawyers that never went challenged, that gave corporations certain human rights. So Google Eric Smith can't go to jail. Google Eric Smith can't get a criminal record. Google gets the fine. Google can't go to jail. And Google got the money in an offshore account because of corporate personhood. They have human rights illegally, but they have it. And so instead of paying taxes in your country, in your state, in your province, in your town, they don't. And every money, you, all the money you spend there is digitally sent off to an offshore bank account legally through an illegal amendment to the slavery law. It's as simple as that. It's very challenging to wall. You can challenge it anytime you want, if you can find a way to do it. But that is the very persona of why we are in so much trouble, because they're not accountable. Nobody at TEPCO could theoretically go to jail, right? Because they're corporate personhood. You can't send the stockholders to jail. So shut your mouth, slave! Major import restrictions following the outbreak of Fukushima. 134 billion, 93 billion United States gone, 83 billion gone, 62 billion gone, 40 billion gone. And then the thugs will beat you to death so they can give them more money. Take your money and give it to them. Take money that's meant for you and give it to the handful of corporate personhood. Some shareholders urge utilities to end nuclear power generation because of the stuff I just showed you. Because they can't make a buck on it. And it's, they're, they're, it's a graceful way of saying we're getting the fuck out of Dodge. Don't forget to vote, not that it matters. <laughs> but see, by having nuclear as a shareholder, nuclear on a stock exchange, it can create evil till the end of time, but nobody can go to jail. They're encouraged to be more evil. They're encouraged to melt down. They're encouraged. Because... That's the way that, that whole corporate personhood works, see? National Guards trained for simulated nuclear explosions in Kent County. County. But I thought it was like a banana. I thought it was like a potato chip. And, and why do you need to do that? Why don't you take those same people and bring them down there and train them to clean up the fucking mess you just made that's leaking out from that site? The terrorists don't need to go there to get the stuff. They just got to go down river. <laughs> and you don't mess around with whatever that is. That's what we're doing to the planet. We're wrecking it. We're coming in. We're highballing ourselves and claiming that we have some moral and ethical type of high ground. Oh no, it'll be safe. The terrorists will never get it. And if they do, it's like a banana potato chip walking in the sunshine getting on an airplane. So shut up! Are you going to shut up? Are you going to sit there and take it? 
You're going to let them do that to me? That's what they're doing to me. That's me. That's what they're doing to me. That's what you're doing to me too. You're hanging on with everything you got. But they're eroding that. They're destroying that very fabric. They're changing me. They're putting so much stress on me that this is what they're hoping anyway. They're just going to pull us apart. And that they're the thugs with the gear and they're going to win. We're not going to let that happen. But that could happen. They got me charged with a crime that didn't happen. They smeared me in the media for something that didn't happen. Said I was accused of death threats when I'm charged with criminal harassment and nuclear pukes. They said everything I showed you earlier is not true. That everybody who wrote every one of those headlines is a lying sack of shit. They just don't have the balls to call it out. Canadian government approves ownership to Australia Mining Company. Think about that. My cigarettes don't have 7,000 chemicals. Don't have a fucking seizure. <sighs> 65,000 gallons of hot sludge removed from Oak Ridge plant. That's because you forced them to. That don't mean they got it all. That's just enough to say, shut up, now we've done something. They just don't give a fuck about you. They don't care about you. You got frozen in time. Anybody don't like my smoke, keep it to yourself. Mind your own fucking business. I'm not coming over and criticizing you. Don't criticize me. I'm not saying to James or anybody else. I'm just saying to anybody that is criticizing me. I don't smoke 7,000 chemicals. Criticize the people who put 7,000 chemicals in everybody's cigarettes and then told everybody to worry about the nicotine. Radiation in court. Landmark success for Australian nuclear veterans. It only took them fucking 70 years. That's what the nuclear industry looks like. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the prettiest of them all? And that's what they see. Freedom of speech. <laughs> I got arrested for my freedom of speech. But they had to say that I was accused of death threats instead of saying I was arrested for criminal harassment or nuclear pukes to get away with it. But I can't even talk about subjects you can anymore. I got 12 restrictions against me. I got to be in my next court appearance on the 16th of this month. Today is the 7th. Hopefully another, you know, hopefully there's a miracle. <laughs> Everybody comes to their senses. <laughs> no, not happening. Thank you for noticing this new notice. You're noticing it has been noted and will be reported to the authorities. That's what I'm up against. But this is me. That's you. That's us. So we're resetting off. After we went through thousands and thousands of headlines, we said, okay, this is real. I'm not just going to listen to Jovic and Woods Hall. I'm going to go look at thousands and thousands of headlines showing that it showed up here. And then I come to the conclusion they are mass lawyers. They are despicable mass murderers. Those institutions. Watch out, they're armed with ideas. <laughs> That's the UVic Police Department. That's Constable Steve Crux from Sandy. It's right there, look. I'll get arrested for saying that. I don't even care. No time to explain. Get in the llama.
10,000 Taliban. They got millions dead in Afghanistan, millions missing, millions of widows, five million orphans, millions, six million in refugee camps. Destroyed the whole country with depleted uranium. Wasn't good enough. Got out over to Afghanistan, you left and went over to Iraq. Millions dead, millions missing, millions in refugee camps to get 10,000 gangbangers. In Libya, in Lebanon, in Syria, in Somalia, in Yemen. And 22,000 drone strikes in India. Tens of millions of refugees to get 10,000 gangbangers. And then each elected official keeps that lie alive. Every one of them. Bloodthirsty warmonger. If that's all you were. If you were just a bloodthirsty warmonger. But you're, that's Satan. And, and then Satan's little helpers. I see nothing, I hear nothing, I know nothing. If I can build fancy shit. And I can make stupid cards. And here's the reality. You know, how matter how big and bad you are, when a two-year-old hands you a toy phone, you answer it. Unless you're the TSA where you grope 700 million people a year, never stop, never even interrupt it, never caught a terrorist. You fucked over everybody in your country repeatedly year after year. You barbarized, murdered people in that airport. You molested people, you stole from people. And you got your job from pizza boxes and coffee cups, 1-800 numbers. And you, and you called the TSA and got a job. You got, a, you got a badge and a uniform through administration, not legislation. Dana's the bad guy. Half of Australia's uranium mining board quit after Rio shelves project. Well, no money here for us now. Might as well get out of fucking Dodge. Tent circus courts favor class action in one billion plutonium dispute. Lots for them, nothing for us. Lots for them, nothing for a Geiger counter. Lots for them to give to Uvic and Woods Hole to keep the lawyer alive till they win their lawsuit, get their, their payoff. Energy Department issues remaining 1.8 billion loan guarantees for Voltal Advanced Nuclear Project. If I made a mistake, be sure to put it in the comment section to nanny me to death. I don't give a fuck if I made a mistake. You shouldn't either. Nuke reactors restarts after life extension. How much did that cost? We got lots of money for that, but we can't get a Geiger counter. We got billions for that, but we can't get a Geiger counter. We got trillions for that, but we can't get a Geiger counter. No one can store it anywhere. You got 101 million gallon tanks in the ground. They're rusted. You can't get it out because it's leaking into the ground or hemorrhaging into the ground. We know dozens and dozens of them are confirmed, but we know these tanks were only supposed to last five years. Five years was a long fucking time ago. It was 40 years ago. Japan, no money to develop renewables, but we can open all the plants on the west side, not on the open ocean, because that got wrecked. All the plants on the, west, on the west side melted down. Welcome to the new reality. We're almost through it. Got a minute to go. I'll be finished. Chairwoman of Defense Nuclear Facility Safety Board. She has a wicked education, but she doesn't know it's not like a banana. Because that's what she says. She doesn't know it's not like a potato chip because that's what she says. But she has an education that means she knows different. But now she's put up on a pedestal. All government. All government lies. That's what that state should be called. Should the U.S. spend a trillion on nuclear weapons? And then if we attack them, they attack us and it's all done anyway. Are you fucking stupid? We should spend a trillion and lock you up. Forever. In a fucking box with no doors and no windows. 
And a little hole where we pour liquid in it for you to fucking lick off the floor. Great late mayor still opposed to burying nuclear waste. They're going to do it fucking anyway. Right alongside the biggest fresh water because it will dilute, is what they said. That's a murderer. They got the education to know better. They fucking know better. But I'm the bad person. Low water now could hinder it. Looking for the radioactive fallout. They know it's deer in Idaho. But it's not like a banana, is it? Once again, that's, that's nuclear. That's pro-nuclear, look. Pro-nuclear is going to fucking kill us. Pro-nuclear is the stupidest thing imaginable. Pro-nuclear will look for anything I made a mistake on, where I slurred a word, where I never said the right fucking number, chop it out, and later on it'll show up in a video with a headline in the media and demonize me. And vilify me till the end of time. I'm just tired of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. You don't like me, go away somewhere else. You don't like what I got to say? I got a novel fucking idea. Don't fucking watch me. You can't deal. You can't come out and debunk anything I'm saying. But you can come out and attack me. Come and accuse me of theft. I went out and done, like, accuse you of theft. They said it didn't show up. I showed you all the headlines. It was already here. That's fucking theft. That's misappropriation of funds. But I'm the bad person. Must be nice. Must be nice. Hugs, everybody. Daniel. I don't even know if I'm fucking streaming anyway. Let me refresh that and see if I'm still streaming. Let me refresh that and see if I'm still streaming. Hi, everyone. Yeah, here we go. I'm still streaming, but it looks of it. Hi, Kate. Love you too, sweetie. David. Shiny Ken. Strain. Ice cream. Divine. Rights. Hugs. Gabriel. And I got like eight comments here. <laughs> Who knows? I know, honey. Thank you, Elaine. Everybody, Lori, Atom, Rattleshark, Amthurst, Candace, everybody else. Hugs, everybody. We'll be chippier tomorrow. I'm going to get on the horn and talk to more lawyers. It looks like I'm ostracized. They got me ostracized. A monkey could win this case with one eardrum punk shirt and two arms behind her back. <laughs> okay, take care, folks. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care.